Ten days ago, the head of the Russian Wagner Group was exiled to Belarus following an aborted mutiny. Yevgeny Prigozhin is now said to be back home in St. Petersburg. His mercenary group launched a short-lived mutiny, taking control of a military headquarters near the Ukrainian border and then marching towards Moscow. It was the biggest challenge to President Vladimir Putin's long leadership. Prigozhin and Putin used to be very good friends. And while the Kremlin has not mentioned him by name since the mutiny, the Wagner chief's whereabouts have been confirmed by Moscow's ally, the Belarusian president, Alexander Lukashenko. As for Yevgeny Viktorovich Prigozhin, he is in St. Petersburg. Where is he this morning? He might travel to Moscow or he might be elsewhere, but he's not on Belarus's territory. I'm not concerned in any way that a specific number of these fighters will be deployed in Belarus. Moreover, they will be deployed under certain conditions. The main condition is that if I need to use this unit to defend our country if they are here, they will be used momentously in any direction. Belarus will use their experience. The Kremlin says it is not tracking Wagner mercenary chief Prigozhin's movements. Dasha Chernyshova has more from Moscow. We are now understand that Evgeny Prigozhin, who has been exiled to Belarus, is now in St. Petersburg on the Russian territory. We also understand from the Belarusian president, Alexander Lukashenko, who actually helped to broker the deal between Moscow and Evgeny Prigozhin's Wagner group, that the redeployment of the Wagner fighters has also not been decided so far. We understand those fighters uh, have been offered the abandoned military compounds in Belarus, but according to Lukashenko, the Wagner fighters have a different vision. We also know that uh, these fighters, according to Lukashenko, are now stationed in the camps where they have been deployed after being pulled out from Bakhmut. So this issue is yet to be discussed. And we also understand that the discussions on these matters of the Wagner Group will be held between the Russian President Vladimir Putin and Alexander Lukashenko of Belarus when they have their next meeting. At the same time, Lukashenko was also very straightforward, saying that there is no danger coming from the Wagner fighters, even if they are deployed on the territory of Belarus. He has confirmed that they have indeed been uh, provided with certain conditions. And one of those conditions is that these fighters have to share this com their combat experience with Belarus and also to make sure that if Belarus needs help in uh, repulsing the threat from outside, then Wagner fighters will certainly be involved.